This week's ITL is a continuation of last week's. This we're finishing up on vocals, and uh, man, I see my buddy Dave Huff there. No, that's not Dave. That's Chris. That's who that is. Chris is just there. Um, we're finishing up uh, the kind of loosely. We don't really have themes, but we loosely have just. I'm not sure what we have, Herb. So let's roll ITL. <laughs> but I felt like doing vocals the last few weeks, and this is going to be the last one on vocals for a second, and then we'll come back to that later on because they're probably the most important thing we do. So, Will, you ready to roll ITL? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, as promised, this is part two. Uh, so much, so much, so much to cover, you know. But uh, I, I like the fact that we're giving it to you in increments that you can absorb and digest and... Uh, have time to experiment and come up with your own concepts and hopefully uh, this show will be worthwhile for me on another level besides the one it already is when you send me back your techniques and I get better myself so check this out part two of uh, reverbs delays courses and pitch let's go over a couple of delays and how we use them first I'm going to give you a classic slap delay and a slap delays were first used in the uh, old tape days back in the 50s and, and all up until recently. And it, the gap between the record head and the play head um, produces a delay on the order of, I don't know, it varies, but just say, for example, 100 milliseconds, but that's not exactly right because it, at 30 inches per second it would be faster uh, than, than at, at uh, 15 inches per second. And then in, in the old days what they would do is they the, they would wrap the the cap stand, which is the little metal p piece that pushes the tape against the the puck or the roller. If you wanted it to go faster, you would uh, put tape around the cap stand, and if you wanted it to go slower, you'd put tape around the puck. And uh, or I might have that backwards, but anyway, you can figure it out if you want to take the time to figure it out. Uh, and that's how you'd change the, the the speed of your slap. But it turns out it doesn't need to be an increment of anything. There's just a part where it just feels good. So I'm going to show you a slap. Usually my slaps end up between 80 and 120 milliseconds. So let's, let's, let's check this out. This is without it. She bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She let's does try. the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. That. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she now bend it over, bring it and then, back and, and push then it I, out. I got a feeling she does the a little weirdest higher things I've work. only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest like things I've only too. dreamed about. How close are we? And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. One hundred and twenty-three. Then if we do one hundred and eight, an actual real number, and then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. You don't hear it. It, 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 it gets absorbed. So, so if you just go a little farther, and push it out. She does the you weirdest things works. I've only dreamed. Bring it back okay, and push out. it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's and she with. bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does. And now, now if we start getting too much, too much bigger, lot higher, higher numbers, you start getting. She bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the you weirdest just, things I've only dreamed about. You're just basically putting a delay on. It's not really a slap. She bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things. And we use that. In the next example we're going to show you is how to just put a basic delay that you just leave running along the vocal. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, here we have like a, um, a delay I like to use a lot because I can get a little different delay going on each side. One of the limitations of this is I can't control the feedback for each side like you can on the basic um, Avid delay. But it still works pretty good. This is kind of like a little basic setting. I've got an eighth note on one side and a quarter note on the other. And remember when on the last example when we had just the eighth note, check this out. This is nothing. She bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've up. only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest probably a little more things I've only dreamed song, about. But. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the okay, weirdest so you hear things the, you I've only dreamed about. It gives you kind of a little ping pong effect with the eighth on one side, quarter on the other. 
She does the weirdest things I've only seen her Let's take the feedback off. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She we get a little less of the reverberation effect, effect. But it's not a reverb, it's a, it's a delay. So you can use a little more of this as opposed to a reverb, and then it won't set your, your track, your, your vocal, your track as far back in the mix. Now, if we did, if we did two, two quarter notes, we lose a little something. Okay, Dave, what about if we go the opposite? Yeah. I really like that. That's a sixteenth and an eighth. Now, what I would do is I'd kick the feedback up a little bit on that. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've cool. only Cool. So that's the way I would do just a basic delay. Now if you remember the last uh part of this segment we, we talked about adding a reverb to the delay. You can do that with this too. And then in and in, 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 in a little bit we're gonna show you uh how to add a reverb to a delay and then put a chorus on that which is kind of a neat thing too. And we're basically what we're doing, we're just trying to make, make something interesting for the listener to hear. So let's start off the next segment, kind of like we did the last one where there's a, a little bit of a transitional phase. We're, we're not going to go to a pure chorus first, we're going to go to a, a chorus with effects on it. So here we go. Um, I, I can't remember, but I think, uh, I think Jason and I came up with this, different components of this together. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a delay, we're going to feed that delay into an equalizer and get rid of some of the low end mud. Then we're going to add a little mud back with deverb, and then after that we're going to use a waves plugin called Enigma, which is, a, 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 think of it as a chorus, it does a lot more, but then the whole thing is going to go through that. Uh, when I say the whole thing, you'll see the mix knob. Notice that it's not the whole thing. We're just coursing a part of it. So let's get it going here. This is our song again. This is our vocal again. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. Okay. Don't be disappointed. I know that I know you're expecting something more spectacular, but we're we're making this about the vocal, not about our our engineering skills. But let's take let's take the components one at a time. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. She bend it over. Okay, if you're on the delay, we're doing our basic thing, except we're using all of the delay. Quarter and a half. Now we're we're gonna take a like DSP. Uh, she over, we're gonna do this. Voila. She does the weirdest things a little bit of extra high end, a little less low end. Now if the high end gets out of control, throw a de-esser at the beginning of this chain or either on your sin if you're on console. Now, um, our D-verb. Notice here, I'm only using 62%, so I'm letting a little bit more of the EQ delay come through. Uh, you can read these numbers. I've mean, I got a pretty long delay on this. Pretty long uh, decay. Now, the Enigma is what kind of ties it all together. About. If you'll notice on the mix here, we're only using six out of 100 for this. I'm going to kick it up just for the sake of the example. Now, these are panned in a little. Most of the time, I'll do it like this. But you can do it either way. Now, let's uh, kick it up. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. And then it's she bend it over, bring it back and okay, push it's a little it much. out. But I tell you what, this chain really, 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 really works over, good on background it vocals. And Try it on background out. vocals and let me know she what you think. Weird... Okay, now I'm going to show you um, a chorus pitch technique. Uh, this works equally well with a, a, a couple of choruses set slightly different, one on the left, one on the right. Uh, if you remember our, our harmonizer. Uh, example from a couple of shows back. You want to try and get some a little alternate movement. So a plugin I like a lot for for, for a, a pitchy kind of coursey thing is is obviously called uh, Pitch Blender by Sound Toys. They make some great stuff. So this is a basic preset I came up with to kind of emulate our harmonizer and uh, example earlier. 
Uh, if you can see, I've got uh, about 24 milliseconds of, del of delay, and then my pitch is uh, 4 cents on one side and minus 4 cents on the other side. Let's check it out. So here's our vocal. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. Okay, I know she you, does the weirdest you guys things are I've only dreamed about. Chinese water torture here, but over, okay, now here's with the here's the pitch. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. She bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. She kind of widens it a little bit, kind of smooths out some of the. Uh, she bend it over, bring it back, and push it out. Different elements she of the vocal. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed about. Now let's go a little, she little more radical. Over, bring it back and push it out. She does the weirdest things I've only dreamed this about. Is, uh, this is a little longer, about twice the length and decay. She does the weirdest things I've and only dreamed about. Is, she bend it over, uh, bring it back and push it eight. out. She now here again, these were numbers that just sounded good to me. I didn't use any delay charts for this. Which if you wanted to get accurate, it would give you a slightly different sound. And then there's no reason why you need the same delay on both sides like we, like we talked earlier. And that's a good basic starting pitch slash chorus setting. Pitch slash chorus setting. Um, I'm to call my insurance company. I think I need a refund on some of the medical expenses I incurred recently. It doesn't seem to be working exactly right. All right, guys.